Hi, this is Dr. Artie Kavanaugh coming to you on Room Now from ACR Convergence 2020. So today there was a presentation actually at the plenary session by Peter Merkel. Interesting abstract on Evacoban. Evacoban is a oral agent that blocks the C5A receptor. So it's a complement inhibitor which is fascinating. We've known about complement, gosh, for many, many decades. Uh, we all learned about it as we learned immunology. And we knew it was important. We measure complement levels because they're an important effector aspect of the inflammatory and immune response. But we haven't really had much to intervene with that. So uh, this was exciting. There is a agent approved that does target complement, and that's eculizumab. Eculizumab is a monoclonal antibody directed at um, the complement C5 protein. So Evacaban, uh, on the other end, is an agent, an oral agent, that inhibits C5A receptor. In this study, what they did is look at 3 on 30 patients with uh, ANC-associated vasculitis. All of them got very strong treatment with cyclophosphamide and then azathioprine or rituximab. Uh, and they looked at Evacaban compared to placebo and found a positive result. So they had a greater chance of remission. They had a bigger increase in renal function. And overall, they had lower exposure to prednisone with the use of Evacaban compared to just the prednisone by itself. So these are interesting data for several reasons. As I said, it's nice to have something that uh, targets complement, which we've known is an important aspect of the immune response, and uh, yet we have not had a way to inhibit that. Uh, I think it's super interesting to have a novel oral agent that inhibits a specific receptor. There had been some oral agents that would, for example, inhibit various adhesion molecules, uh, and none of them have yet come to development. But of course, an oral agent has uh, features which would make it perhaps preferable in some cases to a parenteral agent, a subcutaneous or an intravenous medication. So a interesting target, a relatively novel target that's not been explored. And I would like to see the targeting of complement and how that might pan out in lupus, for example. The eculizumab is approved in paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria, in atypical uh, HUS, hemolytic uremic syndrome, and in NMO, neuromyelitis optica. So it's approved in diseases, and I can't imagine that we couldn't find a use in it, not only in vasculitis, as was shown in this poster, but in other diseases where we think complemented mediated destruction can be important to the outcomes of the disease. So definitely want to keep an eye on this and uh, look and see further development of this and related agents. So uh, this is Dr. Ari Kavanaugh coming to you from ACR Convergence 2020 on Room Now, and we'll see you at the meeting and see you on Room Now.